Hello everyone, this is Soul Silver 17 here. And let me give you a stick usual. This is a, is a non a video and um, it's picture. Alright, so here's the thing. The title says is you know, what if Naruto is the reincarnation of Mori Jin? Um I know the late the watermarks there. Sorry about that, I didn't realize it. Um but hey, I'm not gonna change it. It's just I mean I think you can tell already what it is because of the picture. So this is the thumbnail, and I had to put my, um, fan on, because my dad's watching TV, he has his door open, so, I don't want you to hear the TV, um, actually, I guess it doesn't really matter, because you'll hear me mostly talking, so, anyways, so, I kept on getting, like, these parts, like, Asking for them. And. The Psyche K. What if is going to be coming out. It's just. I don't know. But anyways. I thought I'm making this one. Just a real quick one. Just covering the Land of Waves arc. And then that's it. So yeah. So um, let me know about this. This thumbnail. Like just. Let me know if you like it. I kind of was going, like, for the more Jin picture right there. Um, was basically wanting him to, like, he was, I think, in this one part of the God of High School comic I saw. It just looked so cool in the design it looked. I was, like, wondering if I ever had a chance to juice, draw something or do something similar to it. I would. So, it just looked like that. And I that's why I was... Trying to go with a thumbnail, I just basically, um, then just basically made the contrast different or something. I sometimes I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. I just do it. So enough of me rambling on. Let's get into this. What if this is what Naruto was the reincarnation of Mori Jin, Part Two. So as Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura are trying to get the cat, um. Naruto tells him he can make a clone of himself, in which he plucks his hair and it turns into, like, you know, he plucks it and then all of a sudden it turns into a, you know, another version of himself. In which then, Mori Jin, you know, Sakura, Sasuke says that's good, come on, let's get him now. As the cat's running away from him, but Mori, you know, it sees one Mori, he, you know, the cat dodges, but then. I, boom, all of a sudden, it gets swept up, like, so easily, as Mori goes, hi there, little one, as the cat going, Meow, basically, he goes, aw, you don't like, you know, being cat, caught, do you, I can understand, but, mm, can't run away from your owner, even if she, I don't know, dresses you up, you can't, alright, and the cat just says meow again, <laughs> he just starts petting it. And then he's wondering, hmm, you're a guy, right? You know, he asks the cat, the cat just nods. He's like, okay. And so, you know, when they get back, the woman, you know, pays Haruzin, like, has Minato, well, Haruzin's there, and basically, like, Haruzin goes, good job, Naruto. As, you know, the cat just, well, rubbing it, its head against Naruto, as the owner goes like, <gasps> Oh my god, you know, he really likes you. I was like, and Mori just goes, mm-hmm. I have my weight with animals. As, you know, she's just looking at him and she goes, I will, you know, let you have him. Which Sakura and Sasuke, even Kakashi, go, well, Kakashi just goes, hmm, all right. I mean, basically, she just says, it's about time I, you know, stop putting him in clothing and give him to someone else. I just can't resist because he looks so adorable in them as the cat just like, you know, hisses at him. Sorry for doing the sound effects, but it's just, I'm not even awake. I'm going to be a little bit weird. I'm sorry. I apologize, but yeah. And so, more just laughs at this. But anyways. Um, you know, she asked her how much, you know, do you want for him? And she goes, keep him. And she says, I'll bring by... The cat food that he likes. And all his cat toys. 
to you, in which Kakashi get, write down the address and give it to her. She goes, thank you. As then Kakashi be like, it looks like we got a new animal friend. Nakura's gonna like him. As Sasuke, if they say Sasuke goes like, wait, um, when did Nakura live with you guys? He goes, hmm, for about a month now. And he goes like, why you didn't tell me? He's like, dude, stop being a simp for my sister. And Sasuke goes, I'm not a simp. Basically, all the time when Nakura and Sasuke is around, you know, when Sasuke and Nakura are around each other, he, like, does, like, a lot of things for her, which, I'm gonna say, Mori heard an adult explain what a simp was to his, basically, his son, because he was basically doing that, and so, he, basically, Naruto, well, Mori just tells Sasuke, because that's what he's doing, and Nakura, truthfully, well, she comes in to, like, her with her group, and she basically runs up, and she's about to jump on, like, Nard, like, Mori, and, you know, hug him, but then he says, da, 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 wait, 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 and, you know, he turns around, and she sees the cat, and she's like, ah, who's this, you know, basically, is this our cat now, and he goes, yep, she goes, mom's gonna love him, and the cat's thinking, oh, no, and Kakashi goes, yeah, he, you know, Kushan does love cats, but she won't, like, put one in a outfit, and he goes, oh, thank God, the cat just basically sighed, which they all saw, and he goes, as they all just laugh, so, Naruto does ask Haruzan, um, can we have, like, a Seerik mission, since I've been doing, like, a lot more missions than these guys, and, you know, the missions are getting done pretty easily because of, well, us t working together so quickly, as, you know, Haruzan does says, all right, I'll give you a secret mission. But the truth is, there's a little bit of a skeptic, you know, it's a little bit sketchy. So it may be even a B rank mission, which Sakura goes, wait, if you're giving us a, something that may be a B rank mission, why? He goes, oh, it's because um, you all are working hard. Sasuke has improved. Mori has been leagues above you guys from the very beginning. And he goes, yeah. And even Nakura agrees. And her, basically, her teammates are going, like, I think I also gave it, like, it was Nakura and Menma, along with some random person, with, uh, Kushina. Sorry about my, uh, my son was just growling, sorry about that. I did watch the whole entire thing, but I was, like, I did not hear that part, so, um, mm, yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I think it was Kushina. So, basically, um, Kushina comes in. She goes, huh? And, you know, she sees the cat. And, obviously, she has Naruto. Is that, you know, is that the cat that woman, you know, usually always loses? As Naruto goes, yes. She basically gave me him because he was, like, just, like, purring and rubbing his head against me. And she goes, oh, yay, we have a cat in the house. And, you know, she starts petting him. In which, um, Kukashi says, well, I'm gonna, basically, can you bring in the client? As you, basically, Horizon calls, um, okay, oh my god, okay, wow, my, my brain, it does not, not remember his name, Tazna, uh, yeah, that, there he is, Tazna, as Tazna comes in, as basically, Tazna is so drunk, but he goes, he goes, hello there, kids, <clears throat> Uh, Tazna, the bridge builder. Azara goes, hi there. You know, he just, you know, smiles and, you know, waves. And, you know, he basically goes, I do not know why, but I like this kid. He seems, even though he doesn't, well, look like it, he, he looks some, I get this feeling he's really strong. As he looks, then at Sakura and, and Sasuke, he goes, hmm, they're not bad. I mean, so... Anyways, Kakashi said introduce himself and you know no basically they get the mission so they'll be like, you know, meeting up tomorrow morning. Memma just saying, Wait, 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 wait. Are you going out as you know, outside the village as Naruto well not Naruto, Mit Mori just says, Yeah. Um you know, first C rank mission. As he just says, you know, Memma just goes like, 
You know, I've been always wanting to do this to you, Mori. So, <laughs> as then he tries to throw a punch, as Kushina, Kakashi, Nakura, Sasuke saw this coming, even her reason, but Tazuna was like, what the, as Naruto, well not Naruto, Mori just froze, well, says, him, says to the cat, sorry about this, as then he froze the cat, the Kakashi, he catches him, and you know, the cat, like, is not scared, like, he can already tell what Mori was gonna do, so Mori just... Dodges it, and then all of a sudden, starts hitting all the, you know, hits, basically, Memma's pressure points. In both of his arms, and in his one leg, to basically, so they wouldn't work properly, like, they're, like, limp. And he goes, what the? He goes, we're gonna be that way for a couple of hours. Or should I say, about ten minutes, enough for me to get out of here. You know, you really just, you really don't understand this, but let me tell you. I know things that you don't, and you never will. That's just it. Deal with it. It just walks away. Um, Kakashi going with him, and Tazuna just be like, holy crap, that kid's just freaking awesome. <gasps> he says it out loud, and uh, everyone just... Everyone that's there in the room, like, um, Iruka's there, he just laughs along with her Hurusen. Meets, meets, uh, meets, uh, Mizuki. Is there, he just start. he laughs too, so... Yeah. Um, they, then this year, Nakura's, well, cut, like, team, Kushina gets a team, and it's basically, I mean, not a team, basically a mission, it's a team mission, um, since they have been doing good, just as, well, they've been doing way more, well, they haven't done that many more missions than, um, Team Kakashi, but they have shown excellent improvement. Even if one of his member their members are currently unable to use both his arms and his right leg. And so they're gonna get a mission to go outside the village. In which it is going to be in the land of rice fields. Yeah they go into the rice fields basically because there were some bandits attack, and Memma just says, oh, yes, Nakura just says, when do we have to you know, leave? As, basically, Haruzen says, tomorrow. In which, you know, they, you know, Kushina and Nakura nod, and they're just saying, yeah, and basically the random teammate are just going like, oh my god, why do I have to have him as a teammate? Jeez. So, yeah. So basically, um, Naruto, Kushina, or Naruto, Kakashi split, you know, go away, I mean, split off from Sasuke and Sakura just to like get ready. Um, they are talking about what should we name him, and well, Naruto, well, not Naruto, I mean, Mori just thinks of a name, a name that he remembered from an old friend of his. Let me just. So basically, he just says Han, in which Kakashi and the cat look at him. He goes, "What?" He goes, "It's an old friend of my name." Basically, he was a really good fighter. I mean, he acted like a bull when he gets really angry enough it could stop him. <laughs> I mean, he was always strong. So I thought maybe a strong name for a strong cat. And the cat just you know meows in agreement, and he goes, "See," and he goes, "All right, his name is Han." And so they get back over to the house. Oh, Nakura and Kushina get back. Nakura basically asks, did they name the cat already? And they go, yes. And they go, oh, but I want to name him, you know, and all that. Even, like, Kushina. And then he says, he named, he actually named it Han. In which, why? He's explained about his friend and, like, what he did to Kakashi, too. And so they understand. And basically they're like, okay, you know, Han it is. And, like, you know, the cat becomes part of the family. Um, the the lady delivered the cat food and her the toys for the cat basically, but no, the outfits are there, and so you know not to want well, Mori thanks her and she goes no problem Mori Jin, and I'm like no problem Mori, so you know um after that they after like a couple of hours since it was like still daylight, Sasuke comes over and he goes hey is Nakura here. 
as basically Mori just says, Nakara, the synth is here. As she comes down, goes, So Sasuke's here, huh? As he goes, uh, is, is, is that what you two call me? As both of them look, well, Mori and Nakara look at each other. As then, you know, more, basically, Mori and Nakara says, Yes, as Sasuke feels, I feel betrayed. He goes, like, It's your own problem, man. I'm not gonna lie, you are, which, you know, even Nakura says, you are. But then Mori just says, but, you, if you got, if you want to date my sister, you have to prove something to me. He goes, what, you're strong enough to protect her. He goes, uh, uh, okay, so, if I want to date her, he goes, yep, you're gonna have to basically prove it in this mission. He's like, okay, thank you, thank you, as Nakura kind of giggles at this because she never seen more like this. She just says, overprotective much? She goes, uh, first time having a sister, sibling, so, yes. She goes, am I your favorite? He goes like, yes. And she goes, oh, thank you. He goes, no problem. And she hugs him and, you know, basically, you know, she tells Sasuke to basically come on in. We're just about to have dinner. And the cat, like, comes over to knock her and just, you know, starts purring. She pets, you know, Han. And he goes, huh, what well, you name him? He goes, Han. Well, that's what Nakara and Mori say. He goes, uh, okay. So, yeah, Sasuke eats dinner with them, chat. Um, Kushina can already tell that Sasuke likes Nakara. So, even Kakashi. So, basically, um, they, they wonder what, Sa what basically Nakara and Mori call him. Well, she, basically, Kushina is, she goes, so, um, not great. What do you call Sasuke? You know, what do you think of him? He goes like, he's a simp. She just says straight up. He goes, it's just like his head goes down and he goes, how is he? As she explains what he has done for her, like he keeps on buying her stuff. Um, doing stuff for her without like, basically trying to do something what a normal simp would do. And it's like, yeah, Gekashi and Kusha can see it. Basically though, he, Sasuke is a simp, but he's freaking awesome, like, he's a awesome one, like, he's very powerful, like, powerful one. He just wants to have a freaking girlfriend, and he, he can't stand no one else in the classroom. Sakura, pff, no, he's, he's tired of her advancing on him. Eno just gave up, because she could already tell that Sasuke was in love with Nakura, and Eno is her friend, so, yeah. And basically, that's it, like, most of the girls don't know Sasuke has a crush on, like, Nakara. But, yeah, so, basically, you know, Nor um, Nakara just say, alright, after this, you know, your mission tomorrow, whenever you come back to the village, we can go out and, you know, hang out like we normally do. And, you know, just do whatever. He's like, so, like, a date? He go she goes, no, 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 it's not a date. Yet, and which Mori just looks at both look at both of them, and he's thinking it's definitely a date. She's just saying that, just so I don't get you know protective brother mode. Okay, don't do that, Mori. Don't do that, Mori. Okay, okay, all right. So um, after that, Sasuke leaves, and Mori just asks her, "So a date with him, and you're going to just." Not tell me. She, she goes, mm hmm. You like him too, don't you? Her face gets a little blushing. She goes, yeah. Don't you have a crush? And he goes, uh, yes. I do. Okay, just but let you guys know, you guys have kept on commenting. 10 10, like some have commented like the same amount as Tamari. So it's gonna be Tamari 10 10. But he. So basically, that's how the way he does say, but he has a feeling there's somebody else in this world that he may like. Just a gut feeling. So he's going to keep his feelings close, but, you know, not tell her. She goes, oh, why won't you tell me? Goes, I'm your sister. He goes like, yes, but I don't want you to go and tell her. And when she's just walking away, and she goes, I'll find out sooner or later, Maury. He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then he's thinking to himself, oh, God, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, please don't find out. And so, you know, more, I'm making it, like, more still happy and cheerful. It's just my mindset. It's not 100% awake. So, yeah. But anyways. So, the next day, Moore just says, um, basically, he says, hello, Sakura. How are you? She goes, fine. He goes, eh, I'm good. Lovely morning we're having, right? She goes, yeah. Where's Sasuke? Sasuke, you know, comes and he goes like, hey. You know, he just stretches. He goes like, I've, I've, you know, but Moore just says, so, how did you sleep? Were you thinking of someone? Which Sakura thinks, was it me? You know, she says that loud, and Sasuke says, no, you're useless. You know, she gets a little bit angry at this, because, you know, a lot of people call her useless, but Sasuke is especially the one who calls her useless. She goes, how am I useless? He goes, um, easy. You basically just learn brute strength. You have no other, like, jutsus or techniques. That's all. You just chuck, you know, your chakra control is very good. I'm not going to lie. But you're, you don't have no jutsus. You only have, you know, physical strength and all that. And that's it. And the girl I like is way better than you and everything. She's really, who? He goes, it basically just says, Nakara. You happy? I like Nakara Uzumaki. Well, Namikaze Uzumaki, so. Which Sakura's heart's broken. And it's just like, and basically... Mori just goes, it's alright, Sakura. It's fine. You can find someone better than him. In which Sasuke goes like, hey, what do you mean better than me? He goes, well, someone who's less heartless and more kind. And I don't mean me. Because, remember, you don't like me. And she goes, I know. Why would I want to be with you? He goes like, because I'm the strongest and most basically smartest person in the whole entire village. Also, um, you know, we didn't get, we, we didn't get along at first, because, you know, she was, yeah, I know. And so, like, you know, Kakashi just says, alright, enough of that, Tazuna, let's go. So they get the papers to go sign out, and unknowns to him, freaking Minato has been watching him. Like, he, Minato was in the, like, seeing this. So, Naruto does notice him, he says he's gonna have to go in the trees real quick, and so... Basically, Naruto goes to the trees, and Minato doesn't see, like, hears that he tries to follow him. But Naruto makes a clone with his hair, and tells him to go find Nakura and, you know, Kushina. And, you know, just be there just in case if something happens, because he has a feeling something's gonna happen. And the clone just leaves. So, what's different in, in this one than with the, you know, Shadow Clones is that it has an unlimited range and it can go, like, you know, I think it's like the Shadow Clones have, like, an unlimited range too, but I'm not too sure. So, I'm just saying it has an unlimited range and it doesn't consume Chakra. So, you know, as more comes out, the real one on his team goes, all right, let's go. As Kokashi does ask him, like, St like, go walks right next to him more. He goes like, so, son, have you... Yeah, I know. Minato's following us. You always take care of him? Um, you know, knock him out, Dad? In which... So Kakashi says, yeah. We don't need no dead weight. Well, he says, we don't need no dead weight following us. Which, I know Minato's not... Is not, you know... You know, like what I said, he is still Minato Namikaze that we know, the Yellow Flash. It's just, they don't need him on this mission because he's dead away because of Mori. And so, he basically, like, ducks into the bushes real quick. Minato's like, what the? As in, all of a sudden, he basically feels a punch, someone punch him in the gut. And, like, he goes, uh, uh, he's trying to look at the person who did it, as in, he just sees a hand in his face, and it just, like, pushes him right into the tree. And that's it. Like, he's knocked out. He makes a shadow clone jutsu, and 
they bring the Shadow Clone brings it back. Well, a you know, he uses the multi Shadow Clone Jutsu, which the clone just brings him back to the village. And like he just went to the guard to what happened, so uh, you know, unknowns to them, he was going to follow Mori just so he you know, that when the Night Tails activates, he could probably stop him from using it. He they don't know that the seal was removed. He doesn't know. So eh. So yeah. So anyways, they keep going along for a couple of hours. They see the water. Mori just goes, ha. Huh. So basically he gets the staff out of his ear. He enlarges it. Well, he makes it, you know, basically grow bigger. As uh, Tazuna goes like, what the? As like, he goes, that feels very light. As then he just starts like twirling around. And then he basically says, extend. As it does, it's breaking the the trees. And then he just like holding it upwards. He just starts smacking it. Like, he starts having it go down as it smacks the ground where the water was. And just cracks it and the demon birds come out and be like knocked out instantly as then he basically retracts it and he just puts it right behind his back you know he was like it's better off i do this i need to loosen up it's it felt like a lot of weight was on me which gosh he goes i forgot you 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 have that always in your ear he goes yeah <laughs> pretty easy to get out of then I mean, someone love to fit in there, and then they're like, it just stays there permanently. I mean, you know, like, permanently in there doesn't go any deeper. Which, she goes, that's good. And he goes, yeah. So, you know, basically, Sasuke goes like, I forgot you had that. How much weight does that thing have? Which, uh, which um, Sasuke is, is even wondering, Tazna too, is, he goes, oh, you do not want to know how much weight this is. This is basically... Imagine a big, giant, huge pillar of stone. All of a sudden, it gets compressed into this length and this width, and the, like the weight of it is still the same. I go, how big? It goes from. It's bigger than the mountains. It basically can be seen from about two hundred and fifty miles away, or more, and it, the density of it is. About 150 centimeters long. No, no, no. 1,000 centimeters long. I mean, 1,000, 1,000, like 15,000 centimeters long. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was that. If I'm wrong, then crud. But, anyways, as they're, everyone's shocked by this, even Kakashi. And it's like, so that big, how long, like, that was the width of it. The length was. It was a pillar of Atlantis. That was it. As Naruto just went, well, not Naruto, it's not, as Mori just walking over to the guys. Which he basically wakes up one. He goes, Hello there. I'm Mori Jin. It's nice to meet you. Um, would you mind telling me where or reason why you're here and I won't have to hurt you too badly? Please tell me. And, you know, he's just having a smile on his face. The guy goes, I won't tell you. I. Wait, were you the guy who. Basically did that with a big giant stone staff. He was like, yep. He goes, okay, I'll tell you. Just don't hit me with that thing again. That almost gave me a concussion. He goes like, all right. You know, basically he tells him about the Gado and his men, even like Tazana. I mean, like Tazana's the bridge builder and Gado's will basically get in the way. Like, no, Tazana will basically get in the way of Gado. So he hired a hit, basically assassin. Well, not assassin, basically a hitman. Basically, you know, um, um, Zavaza, and that he's gonna be coming next. Which, uh, Naruto says, Alright. I mean, Naruto, Mori, he goes, and they make like two shadow clones, and he sends them off to the village to get some medical treatment and their bounties. Which they say, Okay, we're fine with that. Like, you know, you basically did beat us pretty good without us even knowing, and we don't want to go against whoever, like, that strength of yours. So, yeah. Which he says, Fair enough. Fair enough. So, yeah. They, you know, travel onwards for another two hours. And then, well... Mori hears something, but he doesn't react to it. He just goes, huh, probably a rabbit. But, you know, it, it comes out. Uh, well, no, it doesn't come out. 
Um, besides just keeps on wrestling as, well, Moira just decides to throw a kunai at it, as he does, and Saku goes, what are you that for? He goes, the bushes were wrestling, I thought it was like a rabbit or something, so I just wanted to make sure, I had a gut feeling it wasn't, sometimes my gut feelings are right, or wrong, depends. As, you know, Sakura goes over and they see, you know, she sees a white rabbit. She goes, you almost killed a white rabbit. As Naruto goes, wait, white? No, it should be brown. Have a white tail, yeah, but brown. As Takashi goes, huh, I wonder, and then he says, substitution. Everyone get ready, basically. So they all get ready for an attack. Zelda Zelda froze, you know, his executioner blade. Naruto, well, not Naruto, I keep on saying it now, but Mori gets out his staff and then, like, basically smacks the executioner blade, breaking the sword, which, which basically Savaza and Haku are shocked. And all of a sudden, like, Mori takes off his bag, just, like, starts spinning the staff and gets in a position, like, you know, holding it, like, with his arm right against his back and his hand, like, holding it with. With his thumb, well, with his thumb and two fingers, as the, his other two are basically underneath it. As he goes, come out wherever you are and whoever you are. You know, he's getting all serious. As basically, you know, Sabasa comes out. He goes, huh, impressive. You have to break my executioner blade. Well, kid, you aren't going to make it easy. As he goes, as Mori just goes, huh, you're strong. I don't really need this, though. As, you know, he just, like, has holding the staff upwards, you know, as then he just drops it. As basically, it hits the ground, and it's just, you know, the ground gets cracked. It's implanted in there. And it's like, so I was goes like, what the freak is that? He was like, my staff? He was like, how freaking strong are you? He was like, oh, you do not want to know. He just has a smile on his face. As I was like, goes like, um... Mercy, like, he can't really tell this kid's stronger than him, he goes, like, Mercy, and he goes, hmm, maybe, I have a suggestion, I don't, f can you please tell me how, what type of man Gato is, and, like, Zavaza tells him, that, tell him how, what Gato's like, the rumors that they hear, and he goes, oh, yeah, Gato's never gonna pay you, which, I goes, which Zavaza goes, I figured that much, but still, how dare he not pay me, he goes, like, you can always come with me, you know, with us, and, you know, work with us to get the money. I mean, I'm probably going to find this base and ransack it and just basically fight everyone there with my... Hold on. As then, you know, he does say, his renewed Taekwondo could easily defeat him. It's made to basically kill people, you know, so... Well, basically attack certain points of the body that would basically kill you. So, yeah. If I fought you 100% serious, you could have died. So, mm, I'd rather not cause that yet. You know, kill people yet. So, yeah. As he goes, alright, um, show me something. As he goes, alright. So, basically, the mess is clearing up. Haku comes out because I was at, you know, give out the signal. And so, basically, Mori walks over to a tree, and basically gets in a stance. As an all of a sudden, like, they basically see three versions of him hit a tree, as an it bursts into, like, the part where he hit, bursts, and the tree just falls. And Zavazel's like, uh, 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 I... I could have died from that. As he goes, I know, right? <laughs> he goes, okay, I am not fighting this kid. He says to himself, he goes, all right, I believe you. Just, uh, you know, give me some of the money and we'll be going. He's like, no, nope, you'll come with us back to the village. In which I was like, what? He goes, yeah, you can basically be a big help, I feel. So, why not? And he goes, all right, okay, you know, I, I follow you, so yeah, so after that display of power, they're like, follow, 
they're basically going back to the land of waves. Um, yeah, they get to toss in those plays. The entire thing with those grandson happens. Mori just tells him that it's not always fair for people to basically die, but we shouldn't, you know, blame other people for someone's, you know, for the person who killed them. But if you don't have the power, it's hard. So who can you blame? Besides, you know, yourself being weak. As he does, like, get up and walks over to him, pats him on the head, he goes, but you always rely on others to basically, you know, get what you want. This man would not be alive no more after, say, oh, alive after a certain point. All right. As, you know, the kid looks at him and be like, how do you know? As he can see that you know, in his, like, Maury's eyes. That he says, because I will find him and end him. As he gets up and just walks out. And so, for the next... So basically, Nar Mori goes into the village. Well, goes into the village nearby. And, well, what happens next is, like, he, get, like, he basically wakes in the morning. It, you know, Kakashi comes over and finds him. He goes, you waiting for people too? Hey, see nuts. He goes, right. Just be safe. All right, kid. All right, All right son. He goes, yeah, dad. So he asks around where God those plates should be around as they only give like speculation, you know, what they think or to like some no. So then Mori sees a couple of God men, like two of them. He basically goes over and says, hello there. I would ask you a question. He doesn't have the headband on. As they basically ask, yeah, what? He goes, could I please see Gato? He goes, why? He goes, oh, I'm just someone who wants to, you know, have a job. And, well, he thinks working for someone like Gato could, you know, give him some, get some easy money. With some little bit of hard work. As they look at him, he goes, like, how strong? He goes, like, oh, I'm pretty strong than most adults. So, yeah. As they, all right, follow us. As he just thinks to himself, goes like, wow, this worked? Huh. And just like the idiots they are, they show where Gado Place is. Zabuza, ha well, Haku and Zabuza were following them. Without these guys even knowing. And basically, they get to Gado's place. Like, they get it all the way up, and Gado's basically a hideout. And then, like, Gado just says, so, who's he? As... Well, he says, oh, says, oh, my name is Maury Jin, and, well, <laughs> as in a blinding speed, everyone in the room, like, just died, was punched, or basically kicked, and, like, basically just died, as, what, this was when, like, Zamaza and Haku basically opened the door, they just saw, basically, Mori with his fists, just, like, going ready to punch a gato, he goes, and I'm here to rid, you know, this, basically, village of you. And then he just punches a gato, and boom, straight, right over the chest. And he goes, like, how? Oh. He goes, basically just says, even though I consider myself a human, basically, ants like you deserve to stay in their place to a god. Like me. As he just rips his arm out. He goes. You really should have never treated people badly. Just because of your greed. That's the one. That's what drives me crazy about people. Their greed or their sense of justice. Sometimes can overwhelm. Them to the belief that. They don't need something. Or. I don't know. I never understand this. But so yeah. So basically. That is, as he remembers somebody who kind of, like, ticked him off, if you guys know the, you know, God of High School. I'm not going to say his name, because you guys should probably guess it already. But, yeah, it's him. But, anyways. Alright, I'm back. Sorry, I just had to do something, like, all of a sudden something came up. But, anyways, I closed my dad's door, because I was getting annoyed with all that music, hearing, And I just... Don't know if I'll get copyright, but so 
Hopefully you guys didn't hear it, but I don't own none of that, but, you know, basically. So, as he, you know, he looks over at top, like Zabuza and Haku, he just says, you want to get the money? He has a smile, like, and this is all just natural. Zabuza goes like, uh, sure. As basically, you know, he does have an execution blade as he basically does, like, just, like, pour, like, the blade onto, like, the people's blood as it starts to regrow. As basically Mori just looks at it and goes like, oh my god, that's awesome. How did you, he goes like, the, basically his officer just said, the executioner blades grows from its, you know, from people's blood when it breaks. So it's like a, you know, as he says, a regeneration sword. He was like, yeah. He goes, that's so cool. Alright. So, you know, they find the safe and Mori just like spin kicks it and it busts open. Which, you know, which Zabaza and Haku are just, like, shocked. And he doesn't have the staff in his ear. He put that right against, like, an outside. Just, like, just sitting there. Zabaza did kill... I mean, Haku and Zabaza did kill some men of Gatos. So, yeah. So, basically, he has, like, some scrolls on him. As in, he puts inside of them money. And, like, you know, the money and the gold and everything else. He basically tells Zabuza and Haku to grab some, like, grab a couple things. Because most of his money is going back to the village. As they agree, because they saw it, it's like, they couldn't, like, they, they say they can't take it. So, you know, they uh, bring it all back, but in scrolls. So, basically, at that, when, basically, after that's all done, they leave. All the rest of the goddess men basically were wiped out. <laughs> Naruto just like comes back with Zabuza and Haku. And it basically did like be pretty easy. Even if all like they're only like basically scrolls so it's like not even nothing to them. You know, so it doesn't take them that long, so a couple of hours. And he says, Hi everyone, I'm back as, you know, well, Tazuna couldn't believe it. He goes, did you? He goes, yep, I killed all of them. It was pretty easy, actually. <laughs> it has been a while since I killed something. But I didn't want to. I mean, Gato was a going to be a problem later on in the future, so I didn't mind killing him and all of his men. Which, Kakashi goes, like, up to him and goes, like, really, how many were there? As... Zabuza says about 50 in total that we could count. There might have been more in the facility, but, you know, Mori told us to go out as he went back in and destroyed everyone else. He goes, hey, about 150. I killed them all. That's pretty easy. And Z basically, Kagashi goes like, do you think that was overkill? He, you know, overkill. He was like, "Yeah, there was technically. I thought there was gonna be more gold in there, and well, there was. There was in a basement, so it's like his personal stash, I guess. That was like the money behind him in a safe was money for his goons. The personal one was downstairs in the basement. They were like counting. So, yeah." He basically brings out the scrolls as Z got like ten, like blah, 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 blah. as Sasuke, Sakura, Tazna, and his family like wondering, um, what should we do? He was like, oh, go to the you know village and ha have them like all the scrolls open. Well, not all of it, but you know, start to give the money back to the people, and so that's what they do. Um, well. That's what Kikashi and Naruto do along with Zaba. I mean, along with Haku, Zaba with Sasuke, Sakura, and uh, Tazuna. So they basically, you know, give back everything. The village in a couple of days are back, is back to normal. You know, back to being process. You know, a normal like town. And the bridge gets done after all that in the next couple of days. And so, like, after it's done, they name it the Mori Jin Bridge instead of the Naruto Bridge. And the Great Mori Jin Bridge. 
as he just kind of laughs at that. He goes, <laughs> thanks. I didn't really do it for, he goes, no, 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 we know. We just wanted to do this for you. He goes, all right. And so, you know, they are leaving, but right when they're, like, you know, leaving, I mean, right when they get out of the town, they see Nakura, you know, basically, Kushina, Menma, and her, and the second, I mean, and the third, just, person, as basically, he goes, oh, hey, Kushina, I mean, he goes, hey, mom, hey, sis, Menma, a um, random person, and she goes, <laughs> Wait, no, this person goes like, hey, as Kushinigo just goes, Naruto, I mean, not Naruto, um, Mori, thanks for sending that help. <laughs> There's some reinforcements that, you know, came along and he took them down. He goes, did he, um, he goes, the clone came and he goes, don't worry, and he goes, I didn't kill them. He goes, that's good, I killed them, I killed some people. As he goes, oh, real? He goes, yeah. He goes, cool, how many? I thought it was about 150. I mean, they technically had, like, all this gold and coins and stuff. I basically took it back, gave that to the village. Well, the town, their money. And then we finished up the bridge, too. As, you know, Kahashi's holding that bag of gold, saying we even got compensated for the money that it's really supposed to be, you know, a being mission. Which, who reason did told us it might be. Which... My, my mom would just get like, no, no, how? And so they did write in the bingo books, Mori Jin. <laughs> like, you know, he does have a staff on him. They basically say, like, Mori Jin may be like, getting S rank, like, basically, the, like, low tier S rank. Because he needs to, you know, have some more incredible feats to, but they give him an S ring because of the, like, they go into, uh, they basically went to the, basically the Hidden Leaf Village and he, they were told about what he can do. And so they call him, they basically said he's a low tier S rank, but he has to make a little more, more feats to get notarized to be a high S rank. So yeah. So, you know, he's in the bingo book. And he just says, they call him the Monkey King. But Haruzan always laughs at this, because he does technically have, like, the Monkey King as a summon. But he says, and basically, when he did fight him, he was like, Enma, he was like, say, I think that's the name of the Monkey King for him, you know, for that her contract with Haruzan. He goes like, even though that kid you was know, supposed to be human, for some reason, he, I, I just listened to him. I can't, like, I don't know why. Like, I just, just can't stop myself from listening to him. And so, like, he does, like, basically, Harrison does say, he always tells you, even though you said you're the Monkey King, he corrects you saying, no, I am the Monkey King. And when she goes, I know. So, he do, he basically, he, Emma just decides to call him the Monkey King. So, there can't be two, so... Mori got the title Monkey King from him. Sorry, stretching. Um, so, yeah. So, it doesn't take that long to get back to the village. And, well, for some weird reason, um, Mori just says, mm, I'm going to try something later. Out loud, and everyone looks and goes like, "What?" He goes, "Oh, I'm just gonna try to summon something, see if I can, you know, f ride on it and fly." As they go, "Huh?" He goes, eh, "It's just nothing." As you know, they get back, they report they won. I mean, you know, basically they completed the mission along with they got you know compensated for it being a B rank mission, including you know Kushina, but saying there was reinforcements. As then Haruzan looks at Mori and goes like, "Did you send a clone?" He goes, "Yes." He goes, good. Thank you for you know, helping out. We'll compensate for that. He goes, no, 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 don't have to. I technically already have a, you know, I, I did enough. Compen you know, I already got enough compensation by getting this extra money because it was a B rank mission. So, don't worry. As Haruzan goes, alright. And so, Naruto walks, I mean, not Naruto, Mori walking away. 
Um, then my girl's like, so what are you, what are you gonna sell it, huh? I bet it's gonna be, you know, a, well, I bet it's gonna be something stupid. You're like, mm, you could say that. But it's more of like, more like it's gonna be something where you won't believe. As, you know, Haruzin says, hmm, let's go over to the training ground. As they body flicker out of there, which Men was just looking to the side. He was like, how does he know that already? He just says, as Ka Kashi, Kushina, and Nakura are just laughing. And Sasuke just shaking his head, going like, you idiot, Memma. And so, Kakashi says he's going to go see what, how's, or what he's going to do. He'll tell them when he gets back. So basically, they leave. I mean, basically, he leaves, and Nakura says to Sasuke, let's go on our date. Which, he goes, huh? As they both run off, and Sakura goes, no, Sasuke. You know, she goes on the ground crying. Which Memo goes over to Nakura. I mean, not Nakura. Goes over to Sakura. Goes here. Which he basically like helps her up. And she goes, thanks. He goes, yeah, let's go get you something to eat. She goes, huh? He goes, just come on. I heard about this from some, some girl. I, well, some lady I talked to one time. I mean, they don't like, people in this village don't like me. But I heard about how it, sometimes it helps with girls when they're upset to get some, some ice cream or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to be nice to you. I'm in a crappy mood now, too. She goes, all right. So basically, you know, they go over. Like, they're walking away and talking. You know, they get the ice cream. It's not overcharged. Um, let's just say this person knows Sakura, and they ask what's wrong with Sakura. Mema just says, Sasuke's with my sister, and... She liked him, so I'm treating her to some ice cream. And what she, you know, they gave him half price, which she didn't really want it, so he just gave the full amount, told him to keep the change, which surprised him. And boom, Sakura gets ice cream. So basically, well, meanwhile, though, with, um, you know, Kakashi, Haruzen, and Mori, basically, Haruzen says, So what are you gonna do? As Naruto, I mean, no, as Met Moore just holds up his hand again, as an all of a sudden clouds are starting to appear. As he goes, he basically says the name, as basically he's bringing out the flying sparrow cloud. As it starts to basically, it starts to like turn and change everything. Like, they basically, Haruzen and Kakashi sees this. As all of a sudden, it forms into an actual cloud, as then it flies down over to him. As then he basically smiles, he goes, Heh, it's been a while, huh? As it just, like, you know, float, like starts turning, going around, and he goes, I know, I know, sorry. Hey, you mind if I, you know, can I ride you again? As, you know, it nods, and he drops on, and he goes like, alright, let's go! As basically, it flies forward, it just, like, starts flying around. As basically, he just starts laughing. Because <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done this. Which Haruzen and Kakashi are just shocked. And so, basically, you know, after a couple of minutes of them flying, he basically comes down and he goes, All right, now go back to being big to be turned, you know, into a thundercloud. He says, As it goes back up, and it does, as then it starts a lightning going, like, hitting a tree and such, you know, turn it to ash. As then Haruzen goes, Wait! That was the lightning around me. Yeah, I know. As it basically says, I guess I saw that even without me, you know, wanting it to. And basically it flies down and not, and basically like starts to shake a little part of the cloud up and down. So saying yes. So Kakashi goes like, huh, it's interesting. How are you able to do this? He was like, I don't know. I mean, I do know. I just don't really want to explain it that much. There's too much stuff I know that's, you know. And Horizon just asks, um, Mori, how old are you? Well, in this, I'm really, you know, 13, almost 14. But my, you know, because I'm a god and all, I was over a thousand years old. I'm a thousand plus years old. Which, Fukashi and Haruzen say, how the freak did we not realize that? As then, like, he, no, basically, uh, Haruzen goes, so that means you can date... Anyone who's older than you, 
if you want to. And he goes, mm, yes, but I'm choosing not to. I mean, I am technically reincarnated to 14 years old. Well, I'm going to be 14 years old. I mean, so, I mean, that's how it works. You know, your time gets reset, but when I die, I'm going to become a god again. But I'll still be more regen, and I'll just not age. I'll be here permanently. <laughs> so, yeah. As basically hers and nods. And so does Kakashi and Shock. And basically, the, you know, he just jumps in the cloud as, you know, it's floating above and just moving forward to re into the village. As, you know, they all get back. Hers leaves at his place, Kakashi. You know, walks in along with Mori and the cloud just coming in. Basically, Han is basically jumps on the cloud as it just rests and. Basically, he says, oh, it looks like you have a little buddy, huh, there. As, you know, he says Sparrow. And, you know, Sparrow does, like, wiggle a little part of it, like, it's the cloud part of him upwards. And he goes, <laughs> as basically Nakura and Kushina are shocked to see this, as he asks, so Nakura, how was your uh, day with your, you know, with Sasuke? She goes, it was fine. Nothing happened. As, you know, he basically sees... Her face blush, and he goes, "Did he compliment you a lot?" She goes, "Yes." And did you? He was like, "She goes, yes." And she goes, "All right, oh, okay." And so, yeah. So basically, Nakara finally asks, "Wait, what's that?" He goes, "Oh, that's Sparrow, the cloud I could summon." Which they're like, "Huh?" And you know. Basically, what happens next is Kushino doesn't ask. She goes, oh, who's this? He goes, Sparrow, the cloud I summon. She goes, oh, you can summon a cloud. He goes, yep, it's basically works. It's like a weapon. It's one of my weapons I have. She goes, wow, that's pretty interesting. You yeah. Anyways, um, what's he? She goes, she just says what Naruto likes. Something what, you know, you can just randomly think of what Yuli guys like. And he'll eat it. You know, he eats it. Eats dinner. Um, Kakashi does tell him about the junior exam coming up, so... Oh! Okay, hold on. There we go. Um, I gotta go do something, so, um... So basically, I'm just gonna end it right after Kakashi tells him. Sorry, guys, but yeah. So, Kakashi tells Nars, I mean... Mori, he goes, alright. Um, they also tells, I mean... Zabuza and Haku were with them. I forgot to mention that. I nearly forgot about them. And they're going to be working for the village, which Haruzan did authorize, saying that that um, Zabuza has to be on a probation period for about two weeks, and then Haku can just be a regular ninja for them. As you know, they agreed to this. Minato was not put in jail, he just was taken home. So that was it. And so, the next day, he called the team meeting, and more Mori said, looked at Sasuke, and be like, so, how was it? He goes, shut it. She kissed him on the cheek, didn't she? and you fainted. He goes, shut it. His face is red. As Sakura looks a little bit happy, is still upset. She, you know, as Mori goes, what happened? He goes, like, oh, nothing, just hanged out with Menma. That was all. As he kind of smiles, he goes, he thinks, even though I hate the guy, I'm kind of glad. He doesn't, like, say much. He goes, oh, good for you. She goes, thanks. And so, Kakashi tells them about their tuning exams, and that if they want to join, they can. And they talk about it, and right down there, they decide, so they fill out the papers, and then they go and fill it in. And then the month of training happens. Sakura trains a lot with Mori. Mori and Sasuke, you know, along with Sasuke, um, he even, like, shows Sakura some jutsus that he technically has not been able, well, he can learn, but he chooses to take his time with learning them, to get a feel for them and understand them, as, you know, she does, and she learns a basic water style jutsu, and that, um, there was, like, a healing jutsu, you know, she started doing some medical ninjutsu, with Nakura also, like, learning this, 
Mama is being trained by Minato. Um, he even shows Sakura and Sasuke his jutsu he basically was coming up with. Basically, he forms a Rasengan in his hand. He finally worked on it enough to you know, get it to be stable. But the lightning is starting to come off of him with the cloud being around him. And it's even like going to the Rasengan as it looks like the dragon, you know, form it as Nakura, Nakura goes like, what the, even Sasuke and Sakura, as then he goes, oh, and then this, as then like two shadow clones, like, no, yeah, he basically just does a one-handed shadow clone, he summons out, he's able to do it with one-handed, which is just like two, basically, um, he has to do like two hand signs just to make more than one shadow clone, in which then, they basically, like, have both their hands, and, well, my dad opened up his door, and now, he says he's been kind of thinking of this, and then he's pouring some wind chakra into it, as it starts to have a little swirl, you know, going around it, as he goes, I've been working on this for quite some time now, but, hey, I think this is really good, huh? As then, they like, what, what the, as then Naruto just says, I think you call it the Rasen Shuriken. I've been working on this since 11. In which Naka goes, Is it complete? And he goes, like, uh, It's pretty stable. Um, pretty much. I'm at, I'm just need, this is the final time I'm, I thought I need to work on it. And now it technically is stable enough. As it does form the actual full on Rasen Shuriken. And then he goes, and now, as he then froze it, it's basically all of a sudden, like, the electricity around him went into the sun shuriken as it forms a dragon, as then basically it hits, like, a tree that was nearby. And then, instead of making, a, like, an explosion that, like, turned, it does do that, but even with the dragon going right through it, there's, like, a, it makes an explosion, and then, like, a pathway is being carved out. So... Yeah, as then that's like a lot of damage, they think. As then he smiles and goes, So, what do you guys think? We can win? As Sasuke Sakura goes, Yes. As Naka goes, like, I cannot be on your team. Memo's gonna be so lame now. As he pats Naka on the head, he goes, like, It's fine, sis. Don't worry. <laughs> he goes, You're lucky you're my older brother. He goes, Why? She goes, If you weren't. I probably would have freaking hit you by now. And he just goes, whew, I you are going to say something else. He goes like, she goes, no, I would probably just hit you more. I goes, yeah, you don't hit me that much. So, yeah, anyways, that's where I'm going to end it off, everyone. I hope you guys have a nice day, night, wherever you are. Bye.